right so this is security system management in the tourism sphere and in this class we discuss about how you try to evaluate the interior as well as exterior security concerns how you try to demonstrate the outer defenses and about building and perimeter protection so this is the outer uh, circumference protection that you will try to give okay and then you try to appraise the inner defenses with a case of intrusion and then access control especially in the tourism sphere so this is especially for you media students and young researchers and you can reach me at dr at chris at the rate of gmail .com. so before beginning the session once again let me thank god for giving me this opportunity to deliver this useful session to share my knowledge among my fellow national international participants students and young researchers right so in this class we'll discuss about the perimeter security not concerned with mathematics but of course we are going to have a security features and then we'll try to understand the methods to provide this perimeter security what are the components essential for this commercial security system then we discuss about graphic touch screen keypads so that's the digital technologies that we will try to use okay then we discuss about turn uh, tourism emergency response network okay then we discuss about rcm risk and then crisis management of the uh, unwto united nations world trade organization then we'll analyze the advantages of using or maybe having the joint membership of the turn okay tourism emergency response network then we discuss how cyber crime is a big threat to this industry and of course how sustainability must underpin the industry group and how we try to confront the new challenges okay so at a regular intervals i'll be giving you some short videos to discuss the knowledge in our topics right fine so this is perimeter security well uh, we try to uh, you know control make uh, necessary control okay in um, making this selective restriction of this access to one particular place or maybe a building or maybe a room or maybe any very uh, important resource or maybe installation of maybe a hardware or a software okay so for gaining access okay we need to have a authorization we need to have a permission okay so that has to be known by someone that already has the authorization okay for example they will try to implement the security but uh, later on for their own benefit they will try to steal their own money so that happens so that you have to be very careful at okay so perimeter security is all about preventing this intruders and maybe criminals from making a defined boundary maybe between lands between buildings between parts of buildings uh control over the people control over the property or maybe assets even okay right so we'll try to analyze the psychological physical or maybe electronic barriers so where we try to have a deter defend detect or identify and then delay okay so this is the perimeter security that is normally required for this protection operations maybe especially for transportation between one one part of the uh, you know one part of the goods from one place to another okay between airports between stations between ports between bridges even and even with the case of utilities across the dams power plants pipelines energy distribution networks we try to have a perimeter security then we'll have industry especially in the chemical oil and gas operations even and in the case of commerce especially with the case of banks where we have to provide security warehouses entertainment facilities also we have to provide security and then defense especially when there is military um, uh, communication between two parts of the same country so we should provide and then weapon storage okay armed storage command centers and so on okay then especially in the governments even with the case of embassies and then courts departments even and then correctional facilities especially in the prisons there also we should provide perimeter security and of course in other organizations even okay and very important areas well secured estates royal palaces will try to provide security okay. so we will try to establish fences we will try to establish railings walls even to provide two layer armory three layer security okay <coughs> and this is how you try to provide perimeter structures okay we'll try to have cycle racks seating planters gates turnstiles boom barriers bollards height restrictors everything has been done to make the security okay so we'll try to have these amount of security like data security application security 
end point security, network security, and finally perimeter security. So everything should be there. Only then it should be a secure and a safe environment. Okay. So this one we will have proactive as well as reactive policy management as well as monitoring response centers. Okay. So we'll try to have electrical fences also. So maybe whoever steps onto it will have an electrical shock. So that will deliver a non-lethal electrical shock. So maybe attempts to short circuit or maybe reduce the voltage or maybe breaching the fence will trigger an alarm. Okay, so that if you if they try to disturb this environment, then the alarm will blow. Okay, right. So the fence, some fences also will have to pinpoint the perimeter disturbances. Okay, so that will make the quicker for the building occupants to be alerted whenever a potential intrusion is taking place. Intruder alert, it will show. Okay, right. So we'll have like buried cable detection systems also. Nobody will try to understand. Okay, so that will try try to help this perimeter security detecting the precise location of intruders. So those who are crossing the line, they will try to identify. Okay. Then we have closed loop systems also. We'll have like vibration sensor cables which are installed, especially in the high or maybe low levels even. Of course, there is CCTV cameras. Okay, so that will be overseeing the perimeter. Okay. Then we have microwave infrared radar sensors also. For example, somebody who is trying to walk or maybe run, okay, or maybe crawling. So that also it tries to identify. So maybe when the intruder enters the detection zone, so changes to the field are registered immediately, an alarm will be triggered. Okay. So maybe road blockers are also there. Some try to cross immediately, it will cram. Okay and they will shout like anything which means that it's a road blocker okay and uh, we have like several com uh, components for the commercial security system we we'll try to have control panels okay we have burglary panel especially which is integrated with the access control then we have cctv long range radio internet alarm also so especially for the video internet communications and video surveillance okay so we have integrated and collaborated door control also so that will be providing both security as well as access control features. Then we have passive infrared so that will be uh, analyzing the light pattern. Okay, So PIR passive infrared to the dual technology sensors we have like motion detector so that will be low cost and of course it will be suiting your business much. Okay, So we have like hand wired wireless also vplex polling loop Okay, so that is a selection offered for any installation challenges so these are nothing but the technologies especially for the access control then we have video controller so that's a latest digital video technology using the video controller especially for the local as well as remote video monitoring okay so maybe we will have a touch screen or maybe computer where you can see all the cameras okay all the cameras at one place okay especially for the business or maybe if you are trying to record any specific live event so that you can use the video control so that's uh, how you will have the head turning style especially you can turn okay and sophisticated design also we have like graphic touch screen keypads also so that you can give training for your employees okay so it can be available both in black and white and maybe color interfaces also so that can make your employees have control over the security okay and then maybe operate the lights schedule the events and much much more tasks so especially if you can see over here like unlock features back door unlock front door lock so everything it will be having the features and it's very much easy to operate you know? and this is the most reliable most robust communication that you will need the most okay especially with the case of fire or maybe burglary emergency we will have a traditional system maybe we will have too many telephone lines and maybe it will dial the central station for assistance okay so let us take in the case if the telephone five, five lines okay some uh, attacker tries to cut it okay what will happen how will this alarm will trigger okay so for that only we will we should have a digital means okay so that will offer the greatest advantage so that is the reason we will have like one application called as a alarm net okay so it's a nationwide leader in the alarm communication since 1986 so alarm net has its own commercial burglary and fire services so that can be a reliable alternative for the traditional alarm signals okay so here we will be using the ultra uh, uh, low line as well as high line security requirements uh, uh, even especially for the jewelry stores 
but now here not much of jewelry but normally 917 quality of gold so those who are trying to store it so there they will be having this one and maybe for the banks listing even especially for the commercial fire right out of the box they will be using this one so this is the alarm net package that you will be using so maybe you can choose wired also you can choose wireless also so you can have a talking keypad even okay when you say okay that offers a easy to use solution even so maybe with the fingerprint just with the fingertip you can provide the security okay and also you can reduce the false alarms and training time that is required for the um you know benefiting this employee even okay then you will have door and window sensors also so that is also available especially for any door or maybe window especially to detect the break in you will have these sensors okay and then you will be having glass break detectors also like hand wire wireless or maybe vplex looping technology as i discussed okay so that's a glass break line technology especially reliable and it will be alarming the intruders from breaking in okay so maybe they are trying to get in so inside the business immediately the alarm will be triggered okay so this is the glass break detector okay now so normally the alarms would be like sirens wow 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 okay so that much sirens horns bells so that you can use the right device accordingly okay maybe to warn of a fire burglary or maybe emergency even okay as i told you alarm net it has cost effective communication solutions even especially for the burglary and fire applications so maybe for the radio technology cellular or maybe internet especially for delivering the alarm signal from your business you can use them and you you can supervise it 24 hours a day okay so the signal is maybe related to the central station that will be actually protecting your business all the days 365 days 24 hours a year okay so next we'll go with ter and turn okay so that's a tourism emergency response network okay so naturally it was launched in washington dc okay back in april 2006 so that was established under mr jeffrey lipman who was the then assistant secretary general of the wto world trade organization okay so of course world tourism organization okay so uh, un wto took some initiatives especially for the evolution of this uh, H5N1 avian flu virus so that was in the pandemic form then that was closely collaborated and then cooperated okay so that was actually established and afterwards it further strengthened when tsunami was experienced during december 2004 when men and nations became con conscious about the fragility of the established systems against natural disasters or maybe unpredictable elements okay so that was the emergency response network okay so the initiatives were actually stemmed from this un wto okay so that uh, turn was characterized about making travel and then destination safe for the tourists even. okay so that was the major objective so um, since it was integrated and collaborated they worked in close fashion with the un system okay and of course they were sharing real time information real time ideas even of course clear cut concise geographically specific public messages were being transferred at regular continuous intervals okay and of course be in good rapport with the media even to better spread the information and of course be activated for the regional local and of course global emergencies of relevance okay so in this case we will have un wto especially will will try to organize and host and manage the turn okay so un wto is in charge of the turn okay so the uh, for making up the activities related to turn okay it's it's naturally the responsibility of the rcm risk and crisis management of the unwto so that was entirely responsible for the turn related safety activities okay so they will try to maintain in close connection with the turn okay so that will go for more simulation exercises program activities so that has been the responsibility of the rcm risk and crisis management okay especially for natural uh, disasters or maybe man made disasters sometimes uh, tsunami comes or maybe sometimes um, out of negligence of the human being some some disasters happen okay too much of fire so that also they will try to mitigate the effects out of it so so um 
getting the membership of course it's a greatest advantage we'll try to have a gradual evaluation especially for the advisory as well as participatory body even with the ahi pandemic event okay we'll uh, try to analyze uh, the advantages of being a joint member of turn okay so that will give rise to more grouping benefits even okay so the relationship between the un wto as well as turn has been strengthen okay so that gives us additional responsibility okay especially for taking care about the well-being of the travelers and of course especially for whenever when natural or maybe man-made disasters come into existence so of course the seamless traveler journey arises here okay so uh, especially when when we take in the case of security we have like biometric okay especially with the thumb okay and maybe digital identity even so that has uh evolved innovated okay so we had like facial recognition te te technology iris rec uh, recognition technology even so that will be the answer for the future security systems and it will be processing okay as when in the travel increases okay and when risks are also increasing of course we will try to maintain the security okay so the travelers will no longer have to repeatedly present the travel documents for example if they are going okay from one place to another every time they have to show the uh, passport and every time they have to show uh, the travel documents so if everything is available online then which means they can access the software and they can show it okay so you need not have to carry these documents every now and then okay especially for the boarding passes booking confirmations in several times with the multiple stakeholders we are trying to show it at different stages of the journey okay so that future security will be strengthened okay so instead they will be able to book transportation check in proceed through security cross borders board aircraft collect baggage simply by confirming their identity and their booking data so that would be the future okay so you can go also extend these features especially for the rental car agencies also every time they are they have to show the uh, original documents not like that okay so if it has been registered just one time they have to show okay especially in the case of hotels cruise ship lines okay other travel providers that they will try to have okay and it will also have improved security and of course you can streamline and heighten the customer experience also better customer experience will be strengthened okay so there will be a need to increase cross industry collaboration efficiency and of course peace of mind even every time we have to think about that one booking what happened is this the ticket confirmed okay so that will will go for and of course with customer needs being put on to definitely the future travel will be much more easier even okay. so if you can see both the travel and maybe tourism industry especially everything if you can see it is all based on information okay so booking um you know hotels um the entertainment everything is information centric okay so it is all about how you try to manage the data how you try to store the data how you try to keep the data much more safe even okay so or especially for the attackers who are, who are more clever enough okay so they will go for rna screening much more professional even okay that uh, even um, we have young attackers or we professional attackers who try to gain the uh, information so which means that if the security is maintained to the highest level which means that they cannot intrude into the system okay so preparation is the key okay and for this one we need collaboration so collaboration between the private as well as the government agencies even okay so we will have like threat intelligence sharing okay incident insight collaboration working together working collaboratively to promote the cyber defense strategies and of course the support that you will tr try to get in the case of severe attack okay so you have to train you have to test and then you have to practice okay all such strategies okay so that can be priorities and of course we should maintain the cyber resilience to be embedded in all of the technologies that we try to use in the day to day life okay. so sustainability must underpin the industry growth okay so travel and tourism 3.9 percentage growth in 2019 so that has outpaced the 3.2 percentage expansion okay globally the, so that has been established on the solid sustainable foundations so this is all about protecting the cultural aspects as well as natural resources even we have to provide 
and promote sustainability at all levels so, so only when the sdgs are being established we can establish security okay so we'll have destination stewardship we'll try to involve industry stakeholders investing and maybe planning developments that does not lead to overcrowding technologies so, so efforts are being carried over especially in the travel and tourism declaration on illegal wildlife trade so that is to preserve and then protect the local species of the animals and plants normally with the case of tourism they try to endanger the or the uh, the preserved species so that take care has been taken by the travel and tourism declaration on illegal uh, wildlife trade even and of course you are promoting mobility innovation so that definitely will try to reduce this industry's carbon footprint which are involved in it so this is how you try to confront the new uh, challenges of course you cannot imagine a world without digitalization of course you should be there okay so that should be in uh, implanted into the practices like we'll try to come up with the climate change shifting consumer preferences redefining the current era reshaping the expectations according to the policies and recommendations and within the industry it should be we should be the change maker okay right so that will definitely will give rise to positive transformation especially for the travelers businesses and communities even of course the world which we are living into